What's up guys, Kevin here, back with another video. Uh, this is gonna be part three of my Consortium Cup series. Today we are taking a look at something that was released overseas. So I am based in the US and only international uh, stockists got this. Uh, this is the Adidas Consortium Cup and clothing samba. Very, very excited. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the previous two, which are the Kashina and the Nice Kicks, please do check it out. It really helps the channel. And if you guys like sneaker content like this and footwear and fashion content, please do subscribe, like, subscribe, do all that. It really does help the channel and share it with your friends because uh, it does take a decent amount of work, but I love this stuff and I love talking about it with you guys. So yeah, talking about the end Samba. The mark of authenticity like there was on all the other pairs. Uh, I won this on the end raffle uh, just cause when it originally was announced, I thought it was gonna be an end exclusive. Not saying that that's a bad thing. I think these shoes deserve to have a wider release. They are amazing pairs of shoes. So here it is. The end clothing Samba. Wonderful, wonderful pair. Oh man. So I'll go into the details more about this. And here the shoe is such a killer shoe. So, so I guess the collaborative name for this shoe is the Samba Past where this kind of takes inspiration from old school past materials. There's the, these beautiful sort of um, carpet fabric lining. It's, it's quite remarkable what they were able to do on such a large scale because I think each pair is gonna be a one of one because none of these will ever match up with another one. Um, just such a beautiful shoe. So like I said, they had that textured fabric on here. The, back tab and the inner lining as well as let me pull this out the insole and on the insole it says past end wonderful wonderful there is like such a cool idea of this and i love the fact that the finish is frayed just so that as you wear it more and more it'll become more and more frayed on the tongue, it says Adidas. The laces are of a tonal color with the nice suede upper. I'm actually surprised. It feels so pillowy, the suede. It's a very nice plush suede that isn't too long haired because sometimes suede can get a little bit unruly and very like, you know, fuzzy for lack of a better word. But this feels like pillowy almost. Uh, the toe box is actually of almost like a burlap material, very, very thick, as you can hear. Uh, the lace tips are of this burgundy, and on the back it says end in a gold holographic. On the side it says past in cursive as well. Normally there would be like an Adidas right there. They do come with an additional cream colored lace. That is very, very cream. And then the lace tips has that dark navy that matches the dark navy panels of the carpet, just like how this maroon matches some of these uh, panels as well. Like all the other consortium pairs, they come with a consortium cup rubberized keychain, as well as the insole has that consortium cup uh, kind of rubberized stamp right there. but. Other than that, this is just such an amazing pair of shoes. It says past and end right there. End on both tabs. And as you can see, look at how like completely different the fabrics are gonna look. I guess these two kind of look similar, but if you turn it around, bam, completely different. Lovely, lovely stuff. That same iconic metal eyelet consortium. And yeah. I can easily see, honestly, End does some of the best collaborations with uh, with like Adidas. Their ideas are just out of this world, really. Some of the Adidas collaborations that I really liked um, from the, this new era uh, really was from End. Like I loved their Velo Samba collaboration, especially that coffee colorway. 
uh, I heard that the materials are fantastic. So bummed out that I missed. Um, and then I just can't find my size anywhere out there. But yeah, wonderful pairs of shoes. I believe the retail on this was 140. Lovely, lovely pair. This is where I think that End really shines on these high quality, high customizability and honestly high like wearability and really has some of the most wearable pairs of collaborations and i know some people say oh that's boring that's unimaginative it's quite hard to create something that's very wearable rememberable as well as of high quality like this um, this is honestly one of my favorites of this first uh, round of consortium cup classics uh, this is definitely going into the collection i'm a big 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 fan of this this and the Offspring pair are pretty neck and neck, but I honestly think this might win out. Maybe that'll change once I get the Offspring Samba in hand, but so far, this is grade A. So let me know what you guys think of the N Samba Consortium Cup. Do you guys like it? Um, are you guys considering picking up any other of the Consortium Cup pairs? There's a lot of good pairs out there right now, and it's honestly very hard to choose from because all of them are extremely wearable, high quality, and they just have great concepts. So again, like, let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.